Hello there and welcome everyone. Now today I've got a great TV show to talk about. Um, why is? Uh, it's one of my favourite shows of all time. It was first aired on television in the UK in around 1983 on ITV over here. And um, it was a mini-series. Um, it was in about two or three parts I believe. And uh, it's basically this one, which is called V, and it stars Mark Singer, Jane Badler, Faye Grant, Michael Ironside, and Michael Durrell, and a whole host of other people who you may not may not have heard of. But it's um it's a, obviously it's a science fiction show about alien visitors that come to visit Earth. And it says on the back here, they come in peace to enslave humankind. Sounds kind of like our governments at the minute around the world, doesn't it? But never mind. But basically, these, um, these aliens take on, they come in human form, but underneath their skin, they're basically reptilians, they're lizards. And they eat mice and rodents to, to survive for food and stuff. And um, but you don't... I forgot to mention, I will be giving away quite a few spoilers during this, so if you haven't seen it, I would switch off now, in case you want to watch it without any spoilers. I won't give too much away, bits and pieces here and there, but uh, I don't know, I'll see how it goes. And um, basically, like, like I was saying, they eat rodents and stuff, and um, what have you. And um, there's a group of um, um, resistance fighters emerge, and these consist of um, Mark Singer, who plays a character called Mike Donovan. And he uh, shacks up with these, gets together with these other people. One's a scientist, like a scientist woman, played by Faye Grant. And um, they work together to try and, like I say, fight against the, um, the alien visitors. And there's a lot of, um, in this, especially in this first series... There's a lot of like, like uh, Jewish people, so uh, the show takes on almost like um, it's, it's very like like Nazi Germany when Hitler and his and his um, armies and that took over Germany with all the Jews and that. It's very similar to that. The aliens are like the Nazis, and then you've got the Jews in here, just like in Nazi Germany, you know, back back in the day, years ago. So anyway, um, it's a really good show, and this DVD is a Region 1 US import version, um, and it comes on one disc, and it's 196 minutes long, and it's a double-sided DVD, I'll just show you. See, it's uh, silver on both sides, basically, one of them flipper discs. Um, it's not too bad, though. It's, like I've said before, it's hard to um, determine which side's which, which side's A and which side's B. You need like a magnifying glass to see it in the middle. Or maybe like, like your glasses. If you've got a good pair of glasses, you should manage. But uh, I struggled even with my glasses on, to be honest. Um, and the picture quality on this is very good. Very good indeed. This also is available on Blu-ray. But uh, I didn't get the Blu-ray because this version will do me for now. Um, the Blu-ray is only available from America. You can import it, obviously. And it's quite expensive. So I thought, well, this DVD does, suits, me just, suits me just fine. So I'm happy with this, to be honest. Um, and it's in widescreen, 185 to 1, aspect ratio, anamorphic. Um, so that's the first series. This first series is good, but the next series, which I'm going to show you in a minute, I, I prefer over this one. I, I like it a lot better. And I also had a big crush on the alien leader in this, played by Jane Badler. She plays a character called Diana. And I always liked her quite a bit. Um, to the extent that um, I used to do a lot of photography and I used a 35mm camera and I, um, I recorded a lot, a lot of episodes off the television of V back in when it was on originally and I 
decided to try and take some photographs off the television screen, set me camera up on a tripod, and I took loads of photographs of Jane Badler off the television screen because I was so into, into her and everything, I liked her a lot, and I think I've still got them photos somewhere, I don't know where they are, but somewhere anyway, they, keep, they come out quite good as well actually, I was quite surprised, you had to use it, um, I read up on it, you had to use a certain shutter speed so you didn't catch the um, the frame collision of the the frames on the TV. Um, the frame speed collides with the camera shutter if you don't use the correct shutter speed. So you had to be careful about that. I forget what the exact shutter speed was that you had to use, but um, it was um, somewhere in between fast and slow, somewhere in the middle, something like that. I forget now. But anyway, that's uh, this V. The mini series this is series one and he has the back cover of this one and it shows you um one of the aliens with part of their face ripped off and you can see that they're a lizard underneath that didn't make sense how how that could be it's kind of impossible because when they take their skin off and the, they've got the lizard face underneath the lizard's like face like juts out like sticks out far further than like a human face so it doesn't make sense that they could have human skin over the lizard face and, and it st still have the same shape. It doesn't make sense that, but never mind. And they used lots of uh, weapons like laser weapons in in this show, which was kind of re reminiscent, of, reminiscent of Star Wars. You know, the laser firing with all the laser like uh, shots firing through the air, the beams and that, with the little zoom, zoom, zoom noises and stuff kind of reminiscent of star wars but it was still really good so that's v that's v the mini series that's the first series on region one dvd now the next series was another mini series and this one's called the final battle and this is a uk dvd by the way and this is me um favorite one out of the two of these mini series um, I like this one a lot because, for one thing, Jane Badler, Diana, features in this um, series a hell of a lot more than what she did in the first one. She's on the screen a lot longer and a lot more frequently. So, that's one of my main reasons for liking it, but I thought the story was a lot better on this one. It, it continues on straight after the first one, I hasten to add. And it does con... because one of the... Um, Let's begin. This guy's daughter in the show gets uh, pregnant from because she starts a um, relationship with one of the male visitors, and she gets pregnant. And in this one, it actually shows you her having the baby, and she has a little alien baby and this little green thing with lots of like uh, sharp teeth. And that scene's quite funny to be honest. Well. <laughs> They're all screaming and everything when she has the baby and freaking out and everything. And that was the cliffhanger. It ended on that bit where, the, where she has the baby and it was continued to the next episode. Yeah, so that was really good. But it is really funny when the baby actually pops out. It's really funny when you see the actual baby. Because it's kind of like a, like a little puppet. Like a little hand puppet. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but um, it's really good though. Little green thing. Little green thing. And then, then you end up feeling sorry for the... I'll, this is a major spoiler here, so um, I did say there would be some spoilers. Um, the little alien starts getting ill after he's born. He starts rapidly deteriorating, and, uh, and in the course of a few minutes, he actually dies. So that's a really sad moment, actually. It's well done that scene, especially think considering it was so funny when he popped out, the way he looked and everything. Then you end up feeling sorry for him, you know, when he when he when he pops his clogs. So, anyway, in this um, series also features um, Faye Grant. She gets kidnapped by Diana aboard the ship and she tortures her using sort of mind control techniques, mind brainwashing type techniques. And I think it's similar to, uh, what's it called again? Voice to skull technology, which is supposed to be around to this day. Um, MK Ultra mind control type stuff where they bombard our mind with some sort of um, I don't know what it is like radio waves or something and uh, basically um, traumatizing her and everything and putting 
um, terrifying thoughts in our mind to try and control our own stuff. So that's all in here as well. And uh, this uh, series is very entertaining from start to finish. Yeah, you're pretty much gripped uh, on each episode. Well, that was anyway. And the acting's very good as well, especially Mark Singer and Jane Badler and Faye Grant, of course. And Michael Ironside as well, he's really good. If you don't know who Michael Ironside is, he's probably most famous for um, starring in the film Total Recall. He played um, one of the bad guys in that, chasing Arnold Schwarzenegger on Mars. And he was also in a film called Visiting Hours, where he played like a psychopathic nut job who was going around this hospital killing people and stuff. That was a really good film, that actually. Highly recommend that one if you haven't seen it. Visit now, as. And on this um, DVD, it doesn't say it's got any extras, but the first mini series, the first one I showed you, did have a couple of extras, like a behind the scenes um, documentary. And I think it has, yeah, it has a feature length audio commentary by Kenneth Johnson. That's this one. As a feature length audio commentary by Kenneth Johnson, which I haven't actually listened to. And I forgot to mention, Kenneth Johnson, who did V, uh, created it and stuff, and I think he directed it as well, I think. Yeah, he did. Written and directed by Kenneth Johnson. He also created the Incredible Hulk TV show. Well, he, he was responsible for the TV show. Obviously, the Hulk was uh, created by Marvel Comics, Stan Lee, and all that. But. He did an incredibly good job with this show. And this one's in anamorphic widescreen as well. And this is in PAL format. It's a UK release. And the picture quality is even better than the um, the, the first one. Because this one's American import. Region 1 DVD. So um, the picture quality is even better on this one. It's uh, You can tell it's digitally remastered. Everything's really sharp and clear and colourful. Really bright colours and all that. I definitely don't need a um, Blu-ray for this one, that's for sure, because the picture is really impressive for a DVD, to be honest. No, I can't fault the picture at, at all. I've got no complaints about the picture quality on this one, to be honest. And I'll just show you inside of this one some nice photographs of Mark Singer and Jane, Jane Badler there. As you can see. And it's got all the chapter listings for each chapter. Which they don't put in DVDs anymore, I don't believe. I've not seen any of them for ages. Because you used to get these first on laser discs, you know, it had all the chapter stops listed on the on the um on the laser disc. Um so they took that idea from the laser discs and put them on the DVDs. But now they seem to have got rid of them completely, like I've just said. But uh anyway, this the first disc of this one is a flipper disc. So you've got to turn it over to play the rest of the episodes. But the um the second disc is just a single sided disc with a picture of the V on, as you can see there. And there's an um oh you've seen that picture, haven't you? I think. That's the same picture, yeah. So that's so that's V the final battle. And this series also stars Robert England. He plays one of the aliens, but he's a friendly alien. And he he gets a um a girlfriend. Uh who's someone from, from Earth, of course, and uh, starts a relationship with her. And he's, he plays a very good character in this. His acting's very good. He's very likable. Very, uh, he gets all these words wrong, wrong and stuff, like, like me. <laughs> his, vocabulary's, his vocabulary's all over the place. Like he, yeah, There's one bit where he says he's got a pornographic memory instead of a photographic memory. Stuff like that. You know, he gets all the words mixed up and stuff comedic effect and stuff so anyway that's v the final battle on uk dvd so next we have v the complete series which wasn't a mini series this was a proper television series that ran for um, 19 episodes and it continues straight off uh, from the final battle i can't remember what happens on this one because i haven't watched it recently um but I remember in the final battle, and this is another major spoiler by the way, in the final battle they de developed this red dust which sort of kills off um, some of the aliens 
it um, kills them basically if they spray them with it or something and stuff and if it gets in the mouth and up their nose and everything and it kills them so that's what they did so I, I can't remember how this one progresses and continues because since they found it, uh, um, something to kill them off you know so I don't know how that's still in existence I forget how that worked out unless they just ignored that fact but these episodes are all um, about 45, you know, about 45 minutes long, something like that. And for some reason, all these episodes are in full screen. No longer are they in widescreen like the previous two miniseries. They're in full screen, 4-3 aspect ratio. That means it's a square picture on your widescreen TV. You'll have borders at the sides instead of at the top and bottom. Bottom. It won't fit the TV screen, there'll be borders at the sides. But that's not too bad, I just wished it had been in widescreen. And the prints, because I shot on 35mm film all these episodes, and the first ones were as well. Or um, There's a few like more debris and stuff, I don't think these ones have been remastered as well, or even if, uh, I'm not sure they've been remastered at all to be honest. But um, there's bits of muck and stuff and a few scratches and what have you. Knocking about all over the place. And um, I'll just show you um, the back of this one. There's some nice pictures down here of the cast. And there's a new cast member here called June, played by June Chadwick. And a few others, but I don't know all their names. But Faye Grant's still in the show, and Mark Singer, and Jane Badler, and Michael Ironside. So we've still got the main actors in there. And these discs um, come in these slim DVD cases, as you can see they're quite slim. And uh, they've all got the um, episode guides on the outer covers, if you can see that. And on the back there's some, well that one's got a got an all C&I on the back. <laughs> Speaking of the old CNI, I'll show you in a minute, but um, the, the remake of V, hang on, I'll get onto that in a minute actually. But anyway, these um, DVDs all come on single sided discs with a picture of a V on, as you can see there. They're all uh, them sort of discs, basically. And um, so that's basically what you get. You get five discs all containing. 19 episodes of the full series of V. I'll have to watch this again sometime soon. Um, because I feel like watching it sometime soon, to be honest. Um, it's a really good show. and um, This series, I heard, didn't do as well as the mini series, But um, it's still a really good show. I, I, I didn't see any deterioration in quality, to be honest, or anything. I still fully enjoyed it, you know. In all them photographs I told you I took of Jane Battle at that time off the TV screen, uh, I took them all off this series, to be honest, off, off these episodes. So um, I was well happy with this series. It's a very good show, and uh, just, just as good as the other um, mini-series ones, in my opinion, to be honest. But um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I've missed off to tell you about. Um, these are all in the... Excuse me. These are all on the Warner Brothers label. All the V episodes, all on Warner Brothers. And these ones you cannot get on Blu-ray at this point. And you cannot get the final battle on Blu-ray either. But to my knowledge, you can't get it anywhere in the world, I don't think. So that is um, V, the complete series on, on UK DVD. Right, next I have here is, is the, uh, the remake of V, which was done a few years ago, and I've only watched the first series of this, and here is the first series here, and as you can see straight away, you may notice there's a picture of the main actress with one eye shown, and what does that mean? Well, to my knowledge, it's Masonic symbolism, because the Freemasons have um, a big hand in the the production of movies and TV shows and all of that to my knowledge and they always put that symbolism on the movie covers 
in the films, in the TV shows, and it takes all different forms. But one of the most common ones is this single eye, which represents the all-seeing eye. You know, like you see on the dollar bill in America inside the pyramid with the eye on it. That's what this represents, but it does have a far deeper meaning behind it, apparently. But I'm not going to go into that, that here. Because for one thing, I don't want to get into trouble with YouTube. So, let's, let's forget about that bit then. But this show, in my opinion, is not a patch on the original um, version that I've just showed you. But, it does have excellent picture quality. It's an anamorphic widescreen 185 or 178, something like that. There's not, not much difference between 178 and 185 aspect ratio, to be honest. But uh, it's got really excellent picture quality, in my opinion. Um, the show, I thought, was it had great effects and everything. Some of it was a bit too ob obvious looking like when they're on board the, sp uh, the spaceship, the alien's spaceship. You can tell they're all superimposed against the... Computer generated background and stuff like that, so it was a bit obvious looking, but still pretty good, nevertheless. And this one's got all different actors in it, different cast entirely. I've just thought of something sort of go like that. Anyway, never mind. Um, but the the show I didn't think was as entertaining or as interesting as the original series, to be honest. Um, and it has um, this actress in it, I can't remember her name offhand, not her there, but the other, there's another main actress who plays one of the, she's like a detective or something. She's sort of part of the resistance in this show. She um, used, used to, uh, she was in a few episodes of Lost, I remember. When I first saw her on this, I thought, I know her face from somewhere, but I couldn't quite remember where from. But then it suddenly dawned on us, I think, oh, wasn't she in Lost? And then I checked it up and sure as eggs are eggs, it was her from Lost. So anyway, she's pretty good in it. And it's also got Morris Chestnut, who you might be familiar with, with from movies and stuff. He's been in a lot of movies and stuff. But anyway, this, um, this show comes on two discs, I believe. I think it was two discs. Yep. Yeah discs inside here I can't remember how many episodes he is but, but I think there was roughly between seven or eight episodes on one of the discs at least I remember, I remember. and um, just show you this back cover here that's the other actress there I was talking about the one from Lost we just call her Elizabeth something I can't remember oh yeah Elizabeth Mitchell that's the one, Elizabeth Mitchell. So uh, I'm not going to go into a full synopsis of the whole story on this because, um, like I say, I didn't find this one as interesting as the uh, original series by, by a long shot. Still not bad, but still not a patch on the original. So that's, uh, that's V, the remake, series 1. Now I've also got here V, the remake, series 2. But I haven't watched this one yet because I wasn't in a hurry to watch it since since I didn't uh, enjoy the first series that much. Um, I mean, I was sort of watching it. I was sort of like sort of into it, but I w wasn't finding it that interesting. So I was, wasn't in no hurry to watch this second series. But um, this second series um, also comes on just two, two discs, two Blu-ray discs. And it's got some different artwork inside on this uh, booklet. I'll just show you the booklet. And the back cover has got the same two actresses on the back. It's only a thin booklet. It's just an uh, episode guide. So it's got... Um, I mean, they're good photographs. They're nice photographs. So give them that, that's for sure. And um, that one's there, that one there, it's got the, pretty much the full cast 
on it if I can just get it so I don't have a reflection of a light in it which is not easy yeah. and him there Scott Wolf he used to be in another favorite TV show of mine called Party of Five so there's a connection with there's two connections with Lost here because Elizabeth Mitchell used to be in Lost and Scott Wolf will no, if I can say it right Scott Wolf used to be in Lost which also starred Matthew Fox no hang on a minute I'm getting mixed up yeah Matthew Fox was in Lost as well and he he was the um, I mean he was the um, fellow actor in, in the series with uh, Matthew Fox Party of Five so that's another connection with uh, Lost just a little tidbit for you there so anyway I can't tell you any, anything about what this is about because I haven't watched this series yet but I'm pretty much pretty sure it's just a continuation from the last series and the girl will probably have the baby and stuff because the girl one of the girls it was a girl alien visit visitor this time gets um, pregnant instead of an earth woman in this one I think they swap things around a bit and what have you, you know and just before uh, you know how I mentioned the um, Masonic symbolism one thing to watch out for in movies and TV shows is there's always, pretty much always, a black and white checkered floor or pattern, black and white checkered pattern, on some something in the movie or TV show. That's a Masonic symbolism, because in every Masonic lodge, you have the black and white checkered floor in front of the altar and everything. In every Masonic lodge all over the world. And sometimes... They use like a red and white checkered floor, which is supposed to represent blood sacrifice, from what I've read and heard. And they also use that in the film Vamp, which I was watching last night, a black and white red, uh, checkered floor in a cafe. And um, they also use the, bla the black and white checkered floor as well in that film in a, in a hotel. So, you know, that's just, just one example of the film that, where it, that it was in, you know. But anyway, that's pretty much all I've got to say about V for the minute. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. So I just say thank everyone very much for watching this video. And if you've got anything to say, can you please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Which will, will be pretty quick, I can, I can assure you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, especially if you're new to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Because if you don't do that, you won't be uh, up, uh, no notified when I upload a new video. So you have to click the all option on the bell. They've, they've made it more complicated, YouTube. I don't know why they did that. Um, so uh, And also, uh, if possible, could you please share my video? Because I'm not getting very many views at the minute. And it would re really help us a lot. So thanks very much if you can do that for us in advance. So I just say thank everyone for watching the video once again and I shall see you on the next one. So bye for now everyone. Take care. Ta-ra.